It may seem a little early, but people are already pulling out a cart, pushing it down the aisle, and loading up fireworks. They're ringing them up, stacking them deep, and spending hundreds of dollars to take them home and get a bang for their buck, creating a backyard fireworks show. <laughs> Matt Sala picks up his bike, biding his time until Dad can take him to buy some of these explosives. But he knows literally firsthand they can be dangerous when he got burned by one. I lit the fuse and the fuse like fell off and it landed on my hand and it like toasted it. But that wasn't his only mishap with a firecracker. I, I set my friend's couch on fire one time with a smoke bomb. Even so, he's not putting the brakes on his fun because he says fireworks are usually okay. I think they're fine as long as you can work them right and there's an adult with you. Firework manufacturers give a few more suggestions. It might sound simple, but always read the labels on fireworks. This one says, don't hold it in your hand. Put it on the ground, light it, and get away. Once the firework fizzles out, it's still hot. So run some water and fill up a bucket to have water nearby in case you need it. Despite the fireworks safety tips, fire officials are going a step further, airing this PSA with a strong message. Please protect your children and neighbors by not using fireworks. Not using them, not buying them, not kids, nor adults. It's not safe for anybody. The explosive within the fireworks is just that, explosive. I mean, they're made to explode. She says that's why people, especially kids, can easily get hurt. See people with burn injuries, eye injuries from the, the shrapnel or the parts of fireworks. A lot of times fireworks misfire. And watch this. Sometimes you can't be sure where they will explode. Plus, fireworks are illegal in city limits, although today we found burned up sparklers and spinners in Tulsa driveways. As for Matt, he says he'll wait to fire off firecrackers in the country, but with caution. Probably do it again this summer. It's fun as long as you're safe. In Midtown Tulsa, Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. Procrastinators pull